In Bilbao, uh, it's a beautiful place. I simply love the authenticity of the city. If you want the mountains or if you want the sea, you have everything. And the food is excellent. All right, I don't know if you know this woman. Probably not, right? Well, her name is Shipra Khanna, and she won MasterChef India in 2012. And in her country, we could say she's kind of a big deal. So you might be wondering now, why are we talking about her and what would she have to do with Bilbao? Well, the purpose of this video and what we're going to be showing you is how we were able to organize two events with this woman in a very, very short period of time. So first things first, my name is Bart Farrell and I'm an American who's been living in the Basque Country. And five years ago, I started making videos and uploading them on the internet with my friend Joseba Artara. This is Joseba. About five years ago, we started playing around and uploading videos, meeting together, having a few beers, just to have a good time, and making some content. Then, around one year ago, we started to make a video with a young and beautiful, handsome American guy, myself, of course, and boom, it went viral. And that's when Iker Santos comes in. This is Iker, the guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who can make things happen. And he told us, hey, why don't the three of us start working together? And that's when Contatu was born. Contact you, digital storytellers. All right, so let's get back to Shipra. She's from India, right? A country with 1.24 billion inhabitants, a country that has an economic growth per year of 7.2%. And since she won MasterChef in 2012, Shipra has developed her career as a chef and has participated in different TV shows and also has her own YouTube channel. So when we found out through our friends in Baskium that she was going to be coming to Europe, we said, hey, why not come to the Basque country? The Basque Country has the highest concentration of Michelin star restaurants per capita in the world. So why not organize an event to meet and discuss with Basque chefs the differences between Basque and Indian food culture? Indian and Basque street food fusion. A roundtable discussion between Michelin star chef Sergio Ortiz de Zarate, gastronomy entrepreneur Aitor Elisegui, food critic Rashmi Uday Singh, and of course, Shipper Khanna herself. And what about sponsors for the event? Let's make some phone calls. Fundación Vicente Ferrer, Chacoli Izaguirre, El Coto de Rioja, Dimar, Lines, V Global, Boga, Balfego. Thanks a lot to all of them. Okay, so that went pretty well. But it would be a shame for Shipper to leave the Basque Country without having a meal in one of the finest restaurants that we have here in Bilbao. And that's where Aitor Elisegui came in. This is Aitor. Aitor is a gastronomy entrepreneur who's involved in lots of different projects. And every once in a while, they have a special dinner that he calls the Curding Club. And he was kind enough and generous enough to put some of the proceeds that were raised during the dinner to be donated to La Fundación Vicente Ferrer, which works on poverty issues in India. Entonces había emociones, los primeros aceites de oliva, las piñas, el tabaco, las Américas. Nosotros hemos sido apasionados, desde luego, de la cocina vizcaína tradicional y de quienes, de dónde venimos, pero nos apasiona el, la fusión. Curdin nace como un homenaje a nuestros clientes, amigos, a nuestros cómplices, una bodega, una técnica culinaria, un producto, alguna oportunidad incluso. ¿no? And that's all for right now. The story of how we co-organized two events in one week. But at the end of the day, we're telling you these stories because this is what we do in Contacti. We create stories, as simple as that. Bye bye. Oh, no.